For many people, the holiday season is an exciting and joyful time of year, but for others, it can bring stress, depression and social anxiety. In this week's Hello Idaho, Brenda Rodriguez spoke to a health expert who helps us understand these emotions and gives tips on how to navigate through them. For most, the holidays are centered around cooking meals, shopping, cleaning and entertaining guests. But for some, including some children, it can bring unwelcome guests like stress and depression. Patrick Fithin, CEO of A Body and Mind Services, says the first step of coping with these emotions is to take a step back and slow down. We're all kind of experiencing, you know, just even with our drive this morning, right? A little increased anxiety. There's more people on the roads. Um, people are also, you know, maybe they're going through some depression. Maybe they're going through some seasonal affective disorder. Maybe they're going through some adjustments in life. Um, and it's a really great time of year to just slow down. Gift giving this holiday season can also add more stress. According to a Goldman Sachs survey, about 60% of Americans find holiday gift buying to be financially stressful. To help relieve the stress, Patrick says gifts can look a little different this year. Any gifts, small or big, I guarantee that it will be uh, accepted with open arms. And um, again, just kind of making sure that, um, you know, it, it, being present is the biggest gift that you could probably give someone. And for many children, the holiday season can be the best time of year. But for others, being in a big crowd with unfamiliar faces can set off the alarm bells, resulting in experiencing social anxiety. And for parents, Patrick says it's important to look out for these cues. Some of those cues might be being shy, might be um, kind of holding on to you. Um, some of the other cues could be more negative where kids maybe are pushing each other and being more aggressive to each other. Patrick says communicating with your child can be an effective way to navigate through these emotions. Sit down with your kid, explain to them in a calm manner what we're doing, that it's safe to meet another kid, that it's fun to run around on the playground or to set a boundary. Patrick encourages those who are struggling through the holiday season to try new hobbies and also stresses the importance of seeking help. And for more tips on dealing with the holiday stress and social anxiety, you can visit our website at KTVB.com and click the Hello Idaho tab.